Hello everyone, you are welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do your exams online, your take more exams online. I actually attempted to do uh, a mobile version, but um, because my memory, the memory of my phone was overloaded, the sound was actually stuttering. So I had to discard it and then resort to the desktop version. So this tutorial is going to be mainly for the desktop, but I mean, um, it's no, it's no much of a difference from the one that you'll be doing if you're using your mobile phone. And uh, I'll try as much as possible to also give you an idea of what it looks like when you're using mobile phone to scan your work using Adobe Scan, and for to also show you the difference between using your regular phone camera and Adobe Scan, the difference in the quality. Of the output of your work so as as you all know by now this is the home page for the online examinations and um, there is a tab here for instructions and I'm sure by now every one of you have gone through the instructions it is very very important there is very very critical uh, information available in the instruction that if you don't go through uh, you may find yourself in serious trouble. So I advise everybody to go through the instructions. This tutorial is not about instructions, so we are not going to go through it. Um, it's about how you can do your exams. So let's get the ball rolling. Okay, so in order to do your exams, you first of all have to log in. And then when you log in, you'll be taken to your dashboard. You have to be put in your index number and then your you put your index number and your permit number well uh, for this tutorial i'm using my own details to log in but for you you have to use your index number and your permit number so in this case i log in and then once you log in it will take you to your dashboard and then you'll be asked please what do you wish to do do a regular exam, take a receipt. I mean, for for this type of exams you are doing, majority of you are is for the level 100. So um, the assumption is that none of you is doing a receipt. But of course, there are some of the old students that are still doing may have a receipt. But since there are not many, we are not going to do anything. Um, the page for receipt is different from doing regular exams. So if you don't, if you are not doing a receipt, don't go here make sure you do your regular exam and normal exams for everybody the one that everybody is doing so in order to do that you click do a regular exams it will take you to another page as you can see we have regular exams and then under here you have the option to get question paper submit work or see instructions again or log out so once since we are now starting the uh, process the first thing that you have to do is to get your question paper so you click here now the the account that i'm using for this tutorial is from marine engineering department it's for the marine engineering department and then they specifically bme 24 that is bsc marine engineering level 100 so that's 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 what we are going to use for this tutorial but for you whatever whatever class and department you are in depending on your class once you log in and you click get question paper it will take it to your department it is your responsibility to now locate your class and i'm sure by now you all know the names of your class as you can see here but this is for marine engineering department alone now this 2020 general intake don't venture here you have nothing doing here your class should be found somewhere here. and since for this tutorial we are using bme 24 it means we go to bme 24 and then see what is there now there's a question here which is uh, thermodynamics 1 bme 24 so the next thing that you have to do is click download and then when you click download you should expect that your work should be downloaded and then you can download it once you download you can locate your work that has been downloaded It is in this it was downloaded here thermodynamics for bme 24 b 24 b 24 which means that three classes are doing thermodynamics one now you have access to your question you can work with it and answer well usually that is not much of a problem uh, like 
when it comes to submitting your work so let's see what one needs to do how we need to submit our work uh, in order to do this i would um let me log out because when you want to submit your work you go start from the home page again okay so let's assume that you have done a work and um, you are ready to submit it i want to show you two different ways of doing it one way is very very wrong and the other way is very correct now um in instructions you have been told to use adobe scan to scan your work before you submit when you use your regular phone camera it comes with some a, a shortcoming the quality is going to be poor and i'm going to show you the difference so that you know why you have to use adobe scan if the quality of your work is not good it will be rejected and if your work is rejected it is considered as failed so pay close attention to what i am going to show you so here let's assume this is a sample work that you have done um, i did this recording on my phone though it was stuttering i just took this uh, portion of it to show you so here this is when you want to use your regular phone camera to uh, take a snapshot of your work so let's go so as you can see you take a snapshot with your regular phone camera this one uses the flash so let's see the end product this is the end product okay now let's see um, Adobe scan if we use Adobe scan let's see whether there's going to be any difference now Adobe scan first of all will locate the edges of the document and once the focus is right it will also take a snapshot just like your the regular camera did but Adobe scan will do something different it's going to enhance the work and then let's now see what is going to happen the end product from Adobe scan okay so now yes let's see the end product boom this is the end product using Adobe scan very good so now when you come here and I'm, let me show you clearly the difference so this was the end product of using your phone's camera now let's go to Adobe scan you see the difference very very clear what Adobe scan does is that if you look here you can see we have we have all this the background showing and then even within the document you can see that there are some dark portions now when such a work is printed this this background is going to take a lot of ink these dark portions are, will take a lot of ink and assuming you've written all around here uh, all over the page here all these dark portions will swallow up some of your text and will make your quality very very poor such a work will be rejected and once it is rejected it is considered as failed but when you use Adobe Scan, this same way of taking a snapshot, if you do the Adobe Scan, this is what it will give you. First of all, Adobe Scan will, will crop only the document and eliminate the background. And after that, it will whiten the background to reveal your work. So I believe you can see the difference very clearly. And this is of premium quality. And this is what we want. Okay, so now let's see. Now that you have done your work, you have scanned your work you want to submit it so you go back to the login page you log in and then once you arrive at your dashboard you go to do a regular exam and then you click submit work now when you submit work it will take you to your department again by this time a different page which is submit work marine engineering department whatever the party will belong to you to take it there automatically okay so here again we the class we are using is bme24 but you can see here it is general intake bme24b this is for late admission those who did not get admission in december or november earlier last year but they will be admitted in 2021 and then later on they will join the mainstream so this is not for those of you who already have admission yours is to go to the mainstream and locate your class and here the class we are using is bme24 so as you can see we have bme24 here and this is bme24b 
So you are this is you are not doing anything here. This is the one that you have to use BME24. So but whatever your class, if you are an MEM student, you use MEM. Whatever class is this, if it, this is for marine engineering department, every department will have all the classes um, uh, labeled there. So you choose your class. So since for this tutorial we are using BME24, we go to BME24, we click on it, and then it will take us to the page where we can upload our work. So as you can see, now when you want to submit your work, make sure that the 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 place the page you are submitting your work has the name of your class correctly spelled if it is not the name of your class run away and look for your class so as you can see this bsc marine engineering level 100 so this is the correct class that we are using for this tutorial so next what do you do you add the file when you click add the file to give the point option to navigate to where you have saved your work in order to upload it so add files where are you, where do you want to add your files from is it from your computer from a folders in your computer well, so let's say files from want to add files from your computer so you click files and then now we save that work i've saved my work on the desktop so wherever you save your work that's where you locate it if it's on your phone you have to find a way to locate it on your phone if you're using your phone wherever you saved it you have to uh, use your file, file explorer to locate it so the work i want to uh -huh. this is my sample work the thermodynamics one and now take note very well when you before you upload your work let me close this before you upload your work this is uh, this is the work i am about to upload when you look at it carefully you can see thermodynamics one bme 25 this i'm assuming that this is a, this is an assumed um, index number we are using for this tutorial when you are labeling your work the original name of the uh, of the file is was this but you convert to pdf of course in, in the adobe um, uh, scan you have the option to save your work as pdf so you don't leave the name like this you label it according to the subject and then your index number so specifically all these things have been spelled out in the instructions you name your work as the subject hyphen your index number that's the correct way to label your work then you can now do the upload so let's go back to upload it now add files will locate it from our computer if it's on your phone wherever it is you locate it and then this is the work so if you double click it it should show up here tell me that is wrong this is how you, you uh, named your work so it's not ready for upload now as you can see there's an option to add more files don't do that because the instruction says that if your work is more than one page combine all your pages into one document pdf document before you submit so whenever you have done an exam you want to submit it should always be one document so this option does not even apply to you and when you use adobe scan once you name your document the number of scans that you do all will automatically be appended to the same document page by page so by the time you are done with the adobe scan it will give you one document concerning all the pages of your work that is why we say is use adobe scan okay so now in order to upload the work now we have seen that the work we want to upload is showing up here the next thing is to put your name and then your your um how do you call it your uh, email address so once that is done you now upload your work click upload and let's see what happens it's uploaded three percent hundred percent it is done voila now this tells you that your work has been uploaded it's finished uploading we will let exams office know you uploaded files finished now usually when you are done uploading an email will also be sent to you to let you know the work you have you uploaded and where it was uploaded but if you don't receive the email it is not a, there's no problem because you have students calling 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 that they, they uploaded their work and they've not received an email and you ask them did you see this page they say yes meanwhile the instruction you've told you that once you see this page this finished uploading whether you receive the email to confirm or not you are fine because sometimes 
receiving an email has nothing to do with the exams that you are doing it has to do with either your phone or your email client whether gmail yahoo whatever it is so this for the as far as the exam is concerned the way the one sure way to know that your work has been submitted is when you see this finish uploading here you may receive the email or not but once you see this you know that your work has been uploaded uploaded so um this is how to basically do your work and um i wish you guys all the best in your exams if you have any questions um you can channel your questions through your your class captains and um, the exams office will be glad to um, assist now uh, before i go let me say this um if you are facing any problems you have, if you're having any issues having to do with the website that you are doing the exams on please contact the exams office because the platform is actually powered by the exams office not the it department however if you have an issue with your email address maybe it's not working or it has not been spelled correctly then you can go to the it department because we have sometimes we have uh, we receive calls from the it department about students lodging some complaints about them on challenges they are facing concerning this website so please if the issue you are having has to do with this website you do your examinations on this site contact the exams office not the it department but if you have issues with your email address fine you can contact the it department and if it has to do with school fees maybe you have paid your fees but your name has not been published you contact the accounts office thank you very much for your time and god richly bless you